But um, I've been following their debate, following their debate, if you could call it that, with uh, a degree of interest. They got into a sort of very interesting auction about um, tax write-offs and tax relief. And it went into the stratosphere of the amount of money they're going to cut off the tax bill of the richest people in this country. You're talking 10 billion, you're talking even 15 billion pounds. And then one of them was asked a question somewhere about um, schools. Perfectly reasonable question. Why does my school have to collect money in order to pay its staff and keep its services going? Answer, there's a Tory government that has cut the funding for your school. And suddenly, amnesia came over them both. <laughs> Apparently, the last nine years have been absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with either of them. They've had no part in it whatsoever. They've never been in a government that's made a decision to cut spending on anything. How, well, how would they possibly do such a thing? So on top of pledging tax giveaways, they suddenly announced they wanted to spend more money on public services. Well, one paper, quite a right-wing paper, said, with this kind of carry-on, it makes Jeremy Corbyn look like a cautious bank manager. <laughs> well, this cautious bank manager believes in people, believes investing in people, believes in funding education properly, and there will not be any tax giveaways to the richest in our society under a Labour government. <laughs>